What's up guys, it's Austin. If you're new here, I wanna welcome you to the channel. Now this video is gonna be an informative video letting you know what we as Master Arms or Military Police do. Specifically, my job is MA in the Navy. I could give you a bunch of BS, a bunch of filler, but I'm not gonna do that. This is gonna be more informative for you guys. So hope you enjoy, sit back, relax. Thanks for watching. My name is Emmanuel Goldman. Uh, I've been an MA for 13 years now. I was in Naples, Italy for four years, Kings Bay, Georgia, and base police for three years. About a year and a half that I did harbor. And then from there, I went to Naval Base Guam, and I was there for three years, and then now I've been here for the last two and a half years. My particular job here at Seal Beach is I'm a watch commander. Uh, that means that Overall in charge of the operations that happen day to day within security I am the person that would be the direct liaison to the security officer uh, And to the command duty officer to let the triad know as far as anything that's going on within the installation That's one of the things about being a master at arms. Um, we're not builders We don't get to step back every day and say look, look what I've done. We're not painters. We're not artists We don't get to step back and say like oh, I painted this um, a lot of times in security um, you pretty much feel like the only time you get prayed something happens and a lot of times it feels like some, something doesn't happen so it, it can feel like there's a monotonous like there's a monotony to standing gate but in reality you're the person that's allowing the monotony to continue you're the person that's allowing everyone else to go to their job every day safely all right so Amy one so here at Naval State Still Beach can you just explain a day in your life can you explain from you know wake up coming to work and then as you get off like what goes on between that timeline uh, all right so we first get to work uh, we arm up uh, after we arm up we go to guard mount um, we get a, a briefing of everything that's going on uh, and we let everybody know where they're going to be at for the day and then from there everyone takes their pose so they get out of the vehicles or the harbor guys go down to the water um, from there if there is any calls to service whatsoever um, we go out and we respond um, we report it up, whatever happened, we just try to make everything resume back to whatever the sense of normality is. And uh, that's pretty much our day. And so, where, when he said the harbor guys go do their thing, so they are land side law enforcement or anti-terrorism force protection and we are wet side or harbor patrol. So my job specifically is harbor patrol. So I do drive a little 27 foot uh, metal shark boat in the harbor and we protect the harbor from the wet side. We protect the base, you know, from the wet side. So this is a Naval Security duty vest. We wear these uh, every shift and then for the harbor, we have a float coat or we call it like a flotation device that we wear around our necks. And so these plates go in here front and back, sappy plates. And yeah, so every shift as a master at arms, if you are on shift, you will be wearing a duty vest. My main job here as a watch commander at Naval Weapons Station Seal Beach would be to aid ensure that the watch is taken care of as in the sentries are rotating through their posts. Um, if there's any issues that come up, report them or take care of them. If there's any incidents on the installation, uh, ensure that our patrol officers are responding and they're responding in accordance with their PPRs and SOPs and that in that situation we follow through almost like a watch, that the watch commander is almost like in the situation that we respond to like a PPR or SOP, the watch commander is like the quarterback of the team and their main job is to make sure that everyone's following the play. As an MA or our job, Master at Arms, similar to MP, um, Security Forces, Air Force, whatever. So you can go into lots of different niches. N niches. So you can go into Harbor Patrol Unit, you can go into Law Enforcement, you can go into Anti-Terrorism Force Protection, you can go into Personnel. Uh, what is security. it? Security. Personal, personal security, personnel protection, NTIS, you can go into CID. I know you can do expeditionary, coastal river run group, coastal river run squadron. Yeah. And so you can go into lots of different things. And then from there, you can be attached to different commands. So you can be attached to dev group, or you can be attached to, you know, a SEAL team provides security for whatever there, right. you know. So you can have, you have lots of different jobs. There's no set jobs. Of course, lots of MAs do have to scan IDs. I had to scan IDs for the first six months in my master arms career. 
Um, that's just that's just a part of it. And you were saying it's very important because you know base access. That's you're one of the first people that people see when they're coming into the base. Right. And, and beyond that, um, so in the, in the full spectrum of being a master at arms, um, each each niche has its own job opportunities. So as far as like a law enforcement or anti-terrorism, force protection, physical security, installations like that, everything that we do, it starts off of personnel qualification standards. Um, they're kind of streamlined throughout the Navy, but everywhere you go, it, it kind of curtails to that installation. Um, but as far as like here with installation, this installation um, with the law enforcement spectrum, you would start off as a sentry and you have to have that foundation of knowledge to even move on to be a patrol officer. So when people are saying like, oh, I don't want to just stand here and check out these all day, you need that basic knowledge. You can't just walk in and take charge of something that you don't know anything about. So as a watch commander, if I didn't know what it was like to be a sentry, mm -hmm. I couldn't understand if you called me and you're like, hey, this is what's going on. I wouldn't be able to be like, oh, let's solve that problem because I wouldn't have had dealt with that firsthand as a sentry. So you can't expect any, like any job just to walk in and be able to just take charge and walk in and move on to the highest level that you expect it to be. But it's not, it's not just being a patrol officer when they do the law enforcement plans. A lot of people, I think that they fear going to an LE command because they think that, oh, I'm gonna be a sentry and be stuck in the gate. Yeah. I don't wanna just check IDs all day. It's terrible. But if people see you all the time and you're always smiling, you're always in a good attitude and always in a good mood, um, when it comes time for rankings for the Navy personnel, they're gonna recognize you as that person when it comes time for your rankings as the guy who, regardless of the situation you were in, was in a great, in a great attitude and a great mood. And if you're that person that goes to a command and you're like, this is terrible, I hate this, I hate my life, then you're gonna bring everybody down. You're like a social vampire and you're just sucking all the, the mood out of the room and, and it kind of brings the command down. Yeah, and so when I first got to Bahrain, I'm comparing this to Bahrain because lots of Master Arms, they will have to either scan IDs or start out as a sentry at some point. And I did, I started out as a sentry, got my qualifications for a patrolman, and I let them know, I said, I let them know how bad that I want to go to hard patrol unit. And so that's how I got into hard patrol units because I let them know, I said, hey, I got the qualifications, I got the level two swim qual, I got, um, you know, all my failing eye exams done, and I was ready, you know, I was, I was hungry to be in Harbor Patrol. The next thing you know, they took me over to Harbor Patrol. And I pretty much been doing it ever since, ever since. But I've, I had, did have to scan IDs, you know, coming onto the, to the ship. I had to scan a few IDs when I was attached to uh, VFA-2 Squadron out of Lemoore, California. So it is what you make it. Like I everyone mean, was saying, you have to start somewhere and, you, and within LE or ATFP, you have to start out as a sentry. And then patrolman, patrol supervisor, watch commander, and it goes up from there. So if you want to, if you if you don't want to scan IDs forever, then get your qualifications. Simple. Definitely agree. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I know there was no fighting. There was no, you know, we weren't gonna fight each other or anything like that for excitement. But I just wanted to bring you again an informative video. Hope you learned something. Hope that ones out there that are considering law enforcement, or then if you're just interested in it, that you learned something. So that was what this video is going to be about. And you want to say anything to the people before before we let them go? Uh, if you got any questions, post them down below. Awesome. I taught him that. Anyways, we'll see y'all in the next video. What's up, guys, and welcome. Sorry. Sorry. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Austin, in case you didn't know. Sorry. Uh, I'm supposed to be walking. What's up, guys? It looks like the camera's going that way a little.